It's Wednesday, March 15th, and some prominent Twitter accounts got hacked overnight, mostly in relation to some political maneuverings involving Turkey, where the president there is working to consolidate power. Accounts belonging to the European Parliament, UNICEF USA, BBC North America, and a promotional account used by boxer Floyd Mayweather were among the several dozen or so accounts that were hit, according to Twitter. Nazi symbols, hashtags, links, emojis, along with Turkish language content were posted, and Twitter says the hack was traced to a third party app called Twitter Counter. The app maker says the app is now essentially offline and not able to post tweets and they are investigating as well. Affected account holders for the most part say they are back in control of their Twitter feeds and the offending tweets have been removed. Hit the link for some Twitter safety tips. So if you're a user of a certain adult toy we can't really show or really even talk about, this is a family show people, you may be entitled to a fairly good chunk of change following revelations that the Things app was spying on how users used it during more intimate moments. WeVibe, the company that makes the silicone playthings, will have to pay some individuals up to 10 grand for their malfeasance, while most users will get about $200 to $1,000. White Hat hackers first uncovered the app's secret purpose, and an ensuing lawsuit ended with a $4 million judgment against WeVibe and its parent company, Standard Innovation. Hit the link to get all the naughty details. Google Chrome is the most popular browser these days, but one thing that makes it not so popular is the way it can suck the batteries dry on portable devices when lots of tabs are open. Looks like that's about to change with the release of Chrome version 57, which Google says now includes tech to throttle the juice increasingly complex web pages often demand. They also say the new build is smart enough to allow background tabs to continue doing things like play music or send you chat messages. Google says the power saving is significant, which is good news for tab crazy road warriors like us. The latest version of Chrome is out now. Thanks for watching DT Daily today and be sure to head over to our Facebook page and Twitter account where we try to have some fun and break the latest tech news. Also, we've got a huge backlog of podcasts on our YouTube channel for you to watch, including yesterday's Close to the Metal Computing podcast where we talk about the future of quantum computing. That'll do it for today. We'll see you again tomorrow.